guys, Ms. LEGO123 here. This time we are reviewing the biggest LEGO Ninjago set ever. This is set 70738, Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty. As you can see on the front of the box, we've got Destiny's Bounty there. This does include Sensei Wu, Nia, Cole, Lloyd, Morrow, Gultar, Bansha, Soul Archer, and Spider. And there is the front of the box. And there is the back. As you can see, this does include Aero Blade number 5. And we can see all the features of the set, which we will get to right now. So let's take a look at this amazing set. And there it is, Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty itself. Now, Destiny's Bounty is definitely new and upgraded. This version of Destiny's Bounty is definitely a lot better than the first one. So let's start by taking a look at the instructions. And here they are. As you can see, this set does only have one instruction book. And this book is really, really thick. This is probably the thickest instruction book I've ever gotten. On the front, it's just the front of the box. On the back, we have the win with Lloyd there. And then on the back here, we've got the piece count. Piece count goes over five pages. We've got the Summer 2015 poster with the edge you see there. Then we've got the Wave 1 sets for 2015. I've reviewed all of those. And then the Wave 2 sets. I've reviewed the um, Morrow Dragon. Ronin Oriex will be the next Ninjago set. And this is Final Fly Destiny Bounty. Then over here I have reviewed the Master of the Dragon and the Blaster Hike and Titan Mech Battle will be next. Well, they'll be coming very soon. We've got a bit uh, the Shadow of Ronin video game, the features of the set, and just the build. So now let's take a look at the minifigures. And here they are. From left to right we have Screamer, Screamer, Wu, Nia, Lloyd, Cole, Morrow, Soul Archer, Spider. Gultar and Banja. So starting over here, as you can see, we do get the hair pieces for Lloyd, Cole and Nia. You can use those instead of the ninja masks. And we've got the first screamer, which is the one that is kind of screaming. He's got a banana and a sai there. And the other one has some dynamite and a little blade. And obviously with the screamers you can uh, take them and put them on someone's head. So let's just possess Nia there. And there is a look at both of them together. So those are the screamers. Next up is Master Wu or Sensei Wu. We have seen him in the Master Wu Dragon. And he does have the arrow blade that comes in that set as well. Now his stuff in this is really, really nice because I'm pretty sure it does have the realm crystal. I think this is the realm crystal on here, but I'm not too sure. Now this is probably the biggest build of Sensei Wu's stuff ever. And then, as for the torso and leg detailing, there is a better look at them, as well as his face detailing, which is slightly new because he just kind of has a bit more of a smirk on there. And there is the torso detailing, and then there is the back detailing. So next up is Nia, and as you can see, she has got this really nice weapon here, and there is her torso and leg detailing. And I think this uh, colour scheme for her is definitely really good with the gold, light blue and a kind of different shade of red. And the, the ninja mask is definitely pretty cool with those colours there. And there you can see her face. I think that is not a new face for Nia. I think, it's just, I think it is just a new face for Nia. But it has been used on other figures in City as well. And there is her with her hair on there. And then as for the back detailing we take this off here, there you can see it, her fire phoenix has now turned into a water phoenix as you can see there, that's pretty cool. And then there is a look at the back with all her accessories on. So next up we have Lloyd in his deep stone armour. Obviously the mask has the green highlights on them and then there he is with his hair on. There's his torso and leg detailing and he does have the two swords in the back there. No double sided face on him, and there's his back detailing, and then there is just a full look with him without his shoulders on, shoulder pads on. So that's Lloyd. Next up, we get to Cole, and again, he does have his hair to switch out for the mask. So there it is. He's got this pretty cool little weapon, I think this is probably made out of deep stone. 
as well as his katana. He is also in the blaster bike and master Wu dragon. So there's his torso and leg detailing. And then there's a look at the back. And then there is his back detailing. So next up, we get on to the villains. Now, first up is Moro. He is also available in a jitsu set. He does have these two mint green katanas. And then there is his torso and leg detailing. And obviously he does come with the techno robe ninja mask. So there he is without that on. And then there is his face. He looks pretty spooky there. And then he has got the Krager and Surfangar cape from Kuchima just in black. And then there is his back detailing. So that is it for Moro, Master of Wind. Next up is Soul Archer. And this version of him is exclusive to this set because this is the only way to get him with the legs instead of the tail. And then there is his face detailing. He does have the bow there. And then there is his torso detailing. And then there is the back detailing. So that's it for Soul Archer. Next up we have Spider. Who is just Yokai or all of the others that are just different names but are the same minifigure. And he gets his name because his weapon just has one of the min the uh, transparent green spiders on it. And since he is just yokai, we have seen this guy before. So you can get this mask off. These masks are the most annoying because they don't come off. There is his face, torso and leg detailing. And there is his bug detailing. And obviously this is the pretty cool mask with the nice green goo kind of ripped off at the back there. So on to the final two figures. These two are Bansha and Gultar. As you see they both have tails. Gultar has this double sided scythe and Bansha has the same weapon she gets in the Jaywalker one which is this double bladed blade. And uh, there are their facey tailings. And then taking off all of Gultar's accessories there you can see his face and torso detailing. And then same for Bansha. There she is. And then there are their back detailings and back of Gultar's head. So that's it for the minifigures of the Destiny's Bounty. Now onto the Ghost Dragon itself. And here is the actual dragon itself. Now I'm not a big fan of this dragon and I will show you why right now. So as you can see this is kind of the main pose that they tell you to put it in. And it does look kind of weird, especially from the side with the way the wings are. And it, the tail is pretty cool. It's got a de definitely a nice tail build there with these mixer joints here and then the nice blade at the end. And then the legs are tiny little things. They are just one uh, CCBS joint with an armor piece on and then the mech dragon's foot. And I don't know why they, they put open ball joints here. There is literally no reason why they could have, why they should have done that because it's easy to put a blue pin in there, then put one of the ball pieces in, and then put these legs on rather than just put rather than putting this on, which gives an open ball joint, which is really irritating and just makes it look really, really bad. And then there is a hinge, a ratchet joint, right in the middle of the body. So you can move this down and then position it kind of like this. And then get the arms on the floor there. So it is like that. But that does again look really, really weird. And as for the body part of it, as you can see, it's kind of unfinished. There is a stud just lying there, missing, kind of. And I'm not sure what these two are for. I'm guessing it's for one of the ghosts with a tail to stand on it. But that doesn't really fit very well. And there is space to put one of the ghosts here. And then you've got the chains that go onto the head. And the neck is a really weird build as well. I thought they were going to use a new piece to get the two ball joints in there. But I guess they just didn't and just decided to do it that way. Which does look, again, really, really weird. And also the spikes on there make it look weird too. It's kind of unfinished at the front here as well. And the head can move right like that. It's got the chains on it. You've got an opening mouth and the head again. Another really weird part on this. The wings are okay. And they've got these new, these nice 2015 Chima Fire Flame pieces recolored in this 
nice color there and then the hands are built into them they are on these battle droid bodies and the, the claws are on there and so that's pretty much it for this dragon there is also this little bit here and yeah that's pretty much it for the dragon so now onto the actual Destiny's Bounty itself. Okay, so here is where the set gets its name from. This is Destiny's Bounty itself. And obviously it is new and improved. And this is definitely much better than the 2012 version, as I mentioned. So starting down here, as you see, they use the Dragon Sword of Fire as detail. Got this nice sticker here. And then up to the brand new kind of brick built dragon head with a nice detail there can move the uh, lower and upper jaws up and down and then it has got this kind of what's used as a ship mask uh, just sticking out the front there and then there is a nice look at the set from the front and you can see we've got a sticker on the dragon head there and then on the other side I will show you more on this so if you just move this around here this is again really really big and as you can see we've got these little prison cage doors with little locks on them and they are for storage and as you can see we've got a, a uh, crowbar in this one and a sword and I just put the extra uh, uh, tools that Nia has in her workshop in there you do have these stud shooters here which the ammunition for those is in this crate. We do also get this chest here, which inside that we get Sensei Wu's little tea kit. And in this chest, we get a sword, a little uh, sweeping brush, and a sailor's hat. And then you can take three studs from this, which is the rest of the chest, it's just ammunition for the stud shooters. You can take three studs from there and then load them into this little section here, which is again kind of meant to act as cannons. And they do break off fairly easily, but put them back on there. And then you just move this piece down here and it does shoot them off. And I have now lost two of those. So then you can just get them and put that back in there. So that's how that works and there is a sticker on top of both of those. And unlike the last Destiny's Bounty, there is a ton of room to place figures in this one. So we can just get some of our ninja figures here, even some from different sets and just place them all over this and there will be room. So as you can see, there's just lots and lots of room in this. Place the figures all over the place here. Just get them in there. And even down here at the back, there is even more space than the last one. So that's just a quick example of pretty much all the space you've got for all these figures. There is at least there's space for at least six minifigures in this, and more than likely more figures because you can see quite a lot of the space in there. And then just get these out here we can take a look at more of this up at the front behind the dragon head this is pro probably what would pilot the anchor but unfortunately this this set doesn't have an anchor unlike the last one so that could be the con of the set but i doubt it it's not really that big an issue as you see the sails on this one and they fixed a big con from the last set you can't knock this mast down on this one so the sails are in place and you will not be knocking this down without doing some serious work because it is connected all the way down at the bottom there. And then as we come into the back, you can see they have a new colour of minifigure head which is a nice transparent icy blue for these lanterns and they've got the uh, golden on there. And as you can see we've got a ladder up into the bridge there and then at the back here you can see we have the new and improved little thrusters with the Sensei Wu hat on there. Say that the way. And then this can all move up here, just like the last Destiny's Bounty. You can also flip these up too. 
And this roof definitely does look better than the last one as well. You can move all of this up to gain access into the bridge section. So if you just look at that there, there's a nice look in there. We've got some little gear sticks, space for two more minifigures at least because of the seats. And then we've also got the nice control panels in there. And then in the roof we've got a rat and some cheese there, so it's probably a mouse. And the roof is connected by mixel joints, so it has an easy moving up and down. And then the transformation feature, you can see we've got these spring-loaded missiles here, which do are the ones with the little harpoon tips on the end. And how you get this to work is... And so what you can do with this compartment here is, as you can see, you can pull it, and this does also rotate, but it's more easier when this is pulled out. You do also get a door on each side into the bridge as well. And then there's just another look at this opened up. But you see these jets here. They do, you can move it as you see like that. What you're meant to do is when you lift this whole set up, you will see this will fall down. So when I lift this, you see it falls out the bottom there and then that acts as a handle so you can just hold that and then this here you pull it out and it's one of the smoothest transformations i have ever seen happens so i'll zoom out a bit there and show this again and then you can see that in reverse so here it is again as you see you pull this out and then it begins to transform and that is a really, really nice uh, tra mechanism to get that to work there. And I think that, that LEGO did a really good job on that. And then this back here, you can spin it around to shoot these, whatever you feel like. And they are orange with the little harpoon tips on the end. And just put them back in there. And I think these jets do look really, really nice when they are folded out like this and the, how they use little barrels uh, coloured in grey as the um, thrusters and then if we close this up to how it is let's turn this round first pull that out so it doesn't shoot them out and push this back in which as you see there they are nice and compacted back in you can see we've got some small little windows at the sides there, but if you do look out of them, you'll just see some jets there. And that's pretty much it. But as you see also, two control panels at the side of the mast. And don't forget, there was that feature with the sails on the old Destiny's Bounty. They've improved that as well. And I'm not really sure if they've made it better, but it is still a pretty cool transformation. So what you do... As you see, we've got this here, which kind of locks it. You pull this down, and the transformation at the top occurs. So I will show you what that looks like. You see we've got a shield piece recolored with this nice print there. And then there you can see the sails on there. So when we pull this down, as you see, the sails will transform out, and they look really, really nice there. And then we can lock it in place. Well, this will automatically lock, and when you lift it up, they will transform back. So it locks itself. And you just knock this out of the way, and they transform back. So that's a really, really nice feature. And there is one more thing left on this, and it is a small little thing, but it's still worth mentioning. We do get this little bucket so that Sensei Wu can help Nia train to become the master of water. So that's just something that you do get, which is pretty cool. And that is pretty much it for the final flight of Destiny's and Bounty. just before we go on to ratings for the set, I did forget to show you Nia's workshop. So what you do is, with the bridge, you just, you see this bit here, you just kind of pull that out and it just slides out. And then we have Nia's workshop there. And then once that has been pulled out, you can lift this up, which does have a nice sticker on it there with all the stuff she's kind of working on. And you can open these up. You've got all these tools on the side here. And then you can take this out. And this is basically Nia's little air bike. And then you can just sit her on there like that. And because of the color of her ninja robe, she kind of blends in with it, except for the blue. 
And that is a really nice little build there. It definitely looks pretty cool. And the fact that it has no wheels definitely uh, shows that it is an air bike. And then to put this away, obviously you just clip this air on there, close that down, push this together, and then you just slide it back up at the top of the roof in there. So you slide that in there, and you push it, and it will eventually click. So that is it. Now we can go on to the ratings for the set. So overall, my thoughts and recommendations for this set. Overall, I definitely think this set is an amazing set. So we'll just stand these figures up here. Obviously, again, no Ronin and Kai do not come in this set. I just put them there because I just put them there when I was setting up the figures for going on the Destiny's Band team, showing you how many you can actually fit there. So this set, I definitely think is a pretty cool set for the minifigures you get. Especially since this is the first and only way to get Nia in her ninja form. You do get an amazing ship. You get some pretty cool other ninja like Lloyd and Cole. And then you also get a ton of ghosts too, like Moro. And also the fact that we get Sensei Wu is pretty cool too. And the dragon is a nice little accessory, but I'm just not a personal fan of this. But it is still pretty nice to get, so it gives the bad guy something to fight back with. So that's about it for this review, so please like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon, and the rating for this set will be a 10. Bye!